All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and it is time for Simplex 4010 Test 20. More MTs. So like the name suggests, I finally now have some real Wheelock MTs. So I got two of them up, both set at 30 Candela and March Time Horn. And then over there is my Wheelock RSS, and they are on the sync module, so everything's in sync. Going down here, we have the Notifier BGX 101L. Back over here is now a Kida version. This is pretty much brand new. It's a Kida K270 SPO, single action pull station. Everything's the same over there. Then back over in the stopper is a Faraday 32, 32BK5, I think is the model number. Have to double check under the stopper with siren on so that is ready to go and then same door holder system same smokes and same strobe so that is a faraday 32 bk2 my bad so let's start push and pull We'll go ahead and silence the panel. We can reset the pull. Find my key. Here it is. Reset the system. While we're waiting for things to reset, we can put a little supervisory in the silent light panel just for fun. All right, and the panel reset. So we will put the door back open. Oops. All right, and we can go ahead and pull the kid station. So here we go. Go ahead and silence from the enunciator. Well, we're here, might as well pull the other T bar. So now we got a reset in the system. Strobes continue to flash because everything is a four wire device, and the strobes are all in sync because of the dual sync module. So we wait. Everything's set to 30 candela. There we go. Now let's go pull the Faraday station under the stopper. And rearm the stopper. All right, and we will let that start to silence. Obviously, everything up here is uh, tagged because I actually took this panel off the wall and rehung it with some more secure wall anchors because the 70 pound ones I had, so 70 pounds per wall anchor, were not enough to hold up the panel. It was pulling out of the wall. 
Uh, so I put up <laughs> 250 pound wall anchors. So I think we'll be okay now. All right. And now, something that we haven't done in a while, we're gonna heat test my simplex detector, hopefully. As long as it all works. So don't try this at home as always. Later and we'll just hold it underneath. Silence the alarms and we'll wait. We'll even take it off and air it out a bit. Let's see what the temperature is reading at. So we should be able to reset it. DSM's clicking in the back. All right, everything is reset. So this concludes Simplex 4010 Test 20. So thank you guys for watching and as always, a wonderful day.